We are back on NBA 2K17, my team, and today I'm just going to do a quick collection update. I saw a few of you guys in the comments section down below asking me to show you guys my collection. So we're going to be doing that today, partially because I don't really have much time to record and get a video out for you guys today. Um, my dad is in town visiting me, and I do want to spend as much time possible with him. So yeah, we're just going to be doing a quick collection video today, and then I'll have probably have some gameplay or a pack and or something for you guys tomorrow so let's just get into this collection man let's just breeze through it first and foremost I have every current day player card so I don't think we need to go through that individually you can kind of just trust me as you can see me scrolling through them I have every single card now I am missing a good amount of East arenas I'm only missing three West arenas so I need to pick up my East arenas I guess uh, aren't missing any coaches on the East or the West so we have all the coaches just missing two logos um, um, what it, I don't even know what logos that they are, but yeah, we're missing two logos right now. Uh, missing one playbook with the East and three with the West. So those are a few cards that I should probably try to pick up. Um, I am less than 40 cards away from getting Diamond Grant Hill, and that's a card I've wanted for a while. So I'm going to try to do that. But first, I need to do that update required crap where I'm going to be like pissed off the whole video because it's going to be pissing me off. I don't know. Let's just go get the update. Now that we got the update, Update, I'll try to get back to where I was. I believe we went over both of the logos and the playbook. So yeah, now we're onto the jerseys. I'm only missing one out of the home jersey. I don't even know what it is. I really wish you could just search for the jersey by here. That would make collecting cards so much easier. I am missing um, three home West jerseys. So I need to just go on like a streak of just getting all these cards just to add them to the collection. Because I would like to start getting those reward cards. I mean, I do have 1,500 cards, which is a lot. That's a good amount. But I would like to start getting that Grant Hill and other cards. We are missing a good amount of away jerseys. Uh, what is that? Six. So uh, yeah, I definitely need to try to get those. We're missing a lot of away West jerseys as well. What is that? Seven. So yeah, I'm missing a lot of alternate jerseys as well. I didn't realize how many jerseys. I was missing this year. I remember last year I had like all the jerseys, so I definitely need to step my game up in that department. I believe Shake and Bake made some sort of checklist, so maybe I'll try using that. That'll probably make life a little bit easier. We are missing four or three, two events jerseys. We are missing the Pride jerseys, almost all of them. Uh, we have a good amount of the Pride West jerseys, so that's good. We're missing a lot of specialty jerseys. All right, I don't feel like just going through all the jerseys. I'm just gonna scroll through them pretty quick. If you want to pause just to see everything I have, you can. But I feel like this is pretty boring just going through my jerseys right now. Like moral of the story is, I am missing a good amount of jerseys, and if I do get those jerseys, it could definitely add to my collection level. So I'll try to do that, but I don't feel like it's important for me to go through every single jersey that I'm missing. Just know I'm missing a good amount. Now on to the historic players, historic cards. And honestly, I stopped opening up a lot of historic packs after like the the good theme pack starts coming out because I felt like there wasn't really any cards that I really wanted that bad. Like, is Dr. J is cool? It would have been a cool card to get, but it doesn't really excite me that much. Sydney Moncrief, I had no desire to get, so I didn't really collect any of these cards. Not much of a desire to get the artist Gilmore, to be honest. So I never really went out of my way to collect any of the Bulls cards. Didn't really have a desire to get the Mark Price either. Didn't have a desire to get the Dave Cohen's um they did actually recently increase like all these guys overalls by like two so they look better than they did when they first came out so now looking back it's like okay some of these cards actually look pretty freaking good and I kind of wish I would have went after them but it's all good man this Zebo, I didn't really have a desire to get this Lou Hudson I still use to this day happy I got him he's a beast um I probably should have went out and got this Alonzo morning just because I was so freaking close but that Shaquille O'Neal went for like 100k at the time, and I just didn't have that MT to spend. So, yeah, um, we did get the Larry Johnson, obviously. I've done a bunch of gameplay with him. With the Jazz, I don't want Adrian Dantley at all. With the Kings, I can't wait till this comes out, because Mitch Richardson's always been one of my favorite players in 2K. So this is one of the collections that I'm actually going to try really hard to complete, because I don't know, man. 97 overall money Mitch is just going to be a beast, dude. I can't wait to get that card. Wall Fraser, I had no desire for him James worthy I don't has this came out yet I, I really don't know I have no I, uh, I I don't know I really don't know that's how much I've been paying attention to these freaking packs but if it has it actually looks like a pretty dope card man 98 overall that sounds beastly so maybe we'll try to get that 
Um, this shack didn't really have much of a desire to get. I don't know, all these cards seem to be pretty freaking expensive, so I didn't really care about that. Rolando Balkman, I had no desire to get that. Um, Drazen Petrovic, I believe this one came out already. I didn't really want him that much. Alex English, no desire to get either. Um, Ron Artez, no desire to get either. Uh, Chris Paul, this one actually just came out a few days ago. And if I didn't have Diamond Derrick Rose, I would have tried to get this card. But since I already had Diamond Derrick Rose, I'm like, I'm going to pass on this. Just because I've been hearing this collection is just so expensive. And I don't know, I don't really feel like sp spending all my MT just to get a bunch of cards that I'm not going to use. And then one card I'm going to use. Uh, yeah, that's just the way my mind goes. And I didn't really feel like buying a ton of packs to try to get the Chris Paul so I passed on him but the card looks dope I've used him in my team blacktop and he is a beast so if you do have Chris Paul good for you I uh, had no desire to get Dave Bing I had I kind of wanted Chris Bosh but I think I chose Larry Johnson over Chris Bosh back in the day um, Rockets I actually wanted Clyde but I didn't end up trying to get him I don't know why man I kind of just like felt bad about spending money on the throwback packs just because they seem so trash so I kind of stopped trying this mod it was okay but i don't know a lot of these cards i just had no desire to get like this tom changers i really didn't care about getting him jack sigma i had no desire to get him sam cassell i definitely didn't even want him um this guy's actually pretty good Ari, Ari, i don't know how to say his name sabonis his son is in the nba right now for the thunder but yeah he's actually a pretty good card so it would have been a cool card to get, but it's all good. I'm not salty about it. I totally regret getting Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway is probably the reason that I haven't gone out and getting, gotten some of these other Diamond Historic cards. Just because Tim Hardaway has been so freaking trash that it's just been like, okay, what if this guy ends up being like Tim Hardaway? And it just completely throws me off because I spent a good amount of MT getting this Tim Hardaway. Completely regret it, and Tim Hardaway has messed up my brain. Now I have trust issues because of Tim Hardaway. And then Earl Monroe had no desire to get. Um, now with the historic arenas and jerseys, stuff like that, we'll scroll through it really quick. I'm missing a lot of these cards, so maybe I should try to pick them up. Now we have all of the moments cards and events cards, stuff like that. And when the moments cards first came out, I was so like hype on collecting them all because I thought 2K would end up adding like reward collections for them. I was completely wrong and I feel like I played myself by spending a decent amount of MT on a lot of these cards, but it's all good, man. As you can see, we have a lot of the moments cards that first came out. Like we just have a ton of them because a lot of them don't really go for much anymore since they've been in packs so long. Like they really don't have much of a value. As you can see, we, we had a ton of the first ones that came out. And then and as we go on you'll start to see that a lot like it, it starts to decline like you see like the out of the first like four we had like three of or two of the collections completed and we were missing one card and two of them so and then we're missing two cards now we're missing three three two and it just keeps on going down and down as time went on and as i stopped spending more as i stopped spending as much money on packs just because dude it was just destroying the bank account man i couldn't be spending that much on these packs but yeah now like i try to pick up all the silver moments cards just to add the cards to the collection and because they usually go for cheap but other than that like i don't really have a desire to pick up like the higher rated ones because they do go for a pretty penny some of them do and i don't know it's just a little bit out of my price range i can't just be spending that on players i'm not gonna use so yeah that's usually how that goes um i do need to go out and just search for some of these cards to see if i can get some of them for the low low just to add them to the collection i think this is when i kind of like stopped collecting cards around here as you can see i only have like five of these cards two of them being jimmy butler and then that kevin durant but yeah i'm sure there's a few silver and gold cards that i could pick up for the low just to add to the collection so i'll probably try to do that off video and then try to get that diamond grant hill but yeah you see like when we get to 12 we only have three of the cards 13 we only have four of the cards 14 we only have one of the cards 15 we only have one of the cards 16 we don't have any of the cards 17 we don't have any of the cards i didn't even open the all-star weekend packs now that we're on to that i don't know like not like okay the dwight looks cool the blake looks cool the dirk looks cool but like the nate looks cool as well but i don't know i just didn't feel like opening these packs like 
I just didn't feel like spending the $50 for a freaking box. Like, I don't know. Just wasn't in the budget at the time. So we just avoided these packs in general. The Vince Carter does look absolutely dope, but I knew I wasn't going to get all these freaking cards. So I had no desire to open them. And you go to the handles cards. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't complete this collection. And looking back, like, I wish I never even spent money on these packs, dude. Like, looking back, none of these cards, I don't use any of these cards. Like, I don't know. And I never really used any of these cards much. I Like, I used the Jamal a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like it was a waste. Um, I was super excited to complete this collection. I spent a ton of MT on it. Well, actually, this is the one I had fire luck. Because I pulled, like, two of these Kobe's in a box. But, like, I don't know. This one I felt like was money well spent. Because I did use a lot of these cards for a lot of my team. I used the Samari a ton. Um, deep shooters. Uh, I didn't spend that much on this one. And the odds on this one were pretty trash. So, I'm not mad that I don't have many of those cards. The big man, I didn't spend much on this one. And I knew I wasn't going to get all those good cards for the Patrick Ewing. So, yeah. Um, rookie Rewind, these packs were dope, but this Tim Duncan was a cool pull. I knew I wasn't going to get the D-Rob or the Pete, so I didn't get the Jordan. Dropping 50, th these packs were dope as well, but I don't know. I just didn't spend that much money. Like The money I spent, as you could see with the cards collected, it just started going down and down. And like the cards started becoming more rare and more rare because the tears went up. Playmakers didn't really open many of these packs, <laughs> to be honest. Lockdown, I opened up a good amount. That Bill Russell was a pretty cool pull. Jerry West was a decent card. Um, Wingman, I opened up a good amount of these because I wanted Penny and I wanted Tracy, but we were not successful. I still use the Sam Jones, though, so that's a good card. All around, I had to open up these for the Derrick Rose. It wasn't successful, but we ended up buying the Derrick Rose in general. And I've actually heard really good things about this Ruby Chris Weber. He is loaded with badges, so I may have to try him out as well. Then we got the events card. Um, I have a good amount of these. Don't I don't have all of them, obviously, but we do have the Yao, we do have the Dwight, we do have the Magic, and we do have the Rip Hamilton. And we have both of the Rip Hamiltons, actually. And other than the game rewards, which we'll go through really quick, that almost wraps up my collection, dude. I feel like I have a ton of cards, but then I see other people's collections like, wow, like, I don't have crap compared to you. Like, there's some other YouTubers who just, like, have so many cards and so many good cards and I feel like kind of left out but I don't know my bank account is looking better than it was a few months ago when I was spending an absurd amount on packs so that that's a good thing that's definitely good for sure um, we'll just look at some of these game rewards. I kind of regret not getting the Pink Diamond Isaiah. I may have to start grinding for that again. We do have the Pink Diamond Love, which is which is a good sight to see. Then we have the Historic Collection East cards, um, the Historic Collection West, the U.S. National Team. I wish these cards would be better than they were, because like these cards are super rare, but I don't know. There's really no reward to try to grind my team Blacktop to get them, and they never even added new cards to my team Blacktop. I know damn well I'm not getting this pink diamond Charles Barkley. I just want to make that known to you guys. Um, I kind of regret not doing domination because I would have the gal or what I don't I think the galaxy ball the one that looks really cool if I did domination the disco ball yeah that if I did domination I would have the disco ball but it's all good we'll be all right man these are all of my cards here are the free agent ones that I picked up but yeah these are all of my cards I just went through my entire collection um, I'll show you my lineup really quick that's what it's looking like right now it's probably subject to some change but yeah that's what we're looking at that's the team that's the collection that's all I got so yeah hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash that like button I'm gonna go spend some time with my dad hopefully you enjoy your weekend thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video peace